Well, hi there. Today we're going to talk about Lesson 74, Fractional Parts of a Number, Part 2. Remember, in problems that refer to a fractional part of a number, it is usually equal to something that we are sometimes missing, parts like the total or the percent. This isn't a very, very difficult concept. It's just kind of an extension of what we've already worked. Uh, most times in these problems, the of is going to mean to multiply, and the is is going to mean equal. Okay? So, that's something that's really important. When you're reading through the problem, you will probably see the words of or is in the problem, and it will make you go, oh, yeah, I remember we use is as equal, and we use of as multiply. Now, we've got some examples, and I do really want to go through the examples, and I do want you to write them down. First example, what fraction, what fraction of 130 is 80? Well, right here you see the of and is, and you already know of is going to mean multiply, is is going to mean equal. And then what fraction is what you are missing? So we would rewrite it as what fraction times 130 equals 80. What fraction? Well, we turn out, it turns out that we can rewrite it as what fraction times 130 equals 80. Then we can divide both sides by 130. Remember that gives us that well-chosen one. We divide this side by 130 and we can get rid of the last zero, which is technically dividing by 10. And we end up with the what fraction, which is actually your variable, equal to 8 thirteenths. And that's the answer, because they asked for what fraction of 130 is 80. Okay, going on. We could replace the word what fraction with what decimal. And in that case, it would look like this. What decimal part of 300 is 75? Of means yeah, multiply is means equal. So we rewrite it. What decimal part WDP times 300 equals 75? Now remember, this is going to be that same situation as we had before. We have WDP times 300 equals 75. We divide both sides by 300 so that we can have that well-chosen one. And that's what I show here. And then you actually do the division. And uh, if you notice over here, I have the math over here on the right side. 75 divided by 300. Notice I had to put in decimal places. I end up with 0.25, which as a percent is 25% as a decimal, which is what they asked for, what decimal part of 300 is 75. Here's your answer, 0.25. If they asked for the percent, you would just turn that into a percent by multiplying it by 100. It would be 25%. Okay, let's look at another one. Sometimes the total is your unknown. So, you know, sometimes in these sentences you have to look for other things. In this case, maybe the total is unknown. So, three-fifths of what number, that's your total, is equal to 300. Three-fifths times what number is 300. So we start out, it looks like this. And you end up looking like this. Three-fifths, what number, which is your total, equals 300. Now remember, when we were solving problems, we had to multiply by the reciprocal to get rid of that fraction next to the variable. So this crosses out. It ends up looking like this, okay? And then you can cancel out, which is kind of a nice thing here. The 3 goes out. This goes to 100. 100 times 5 is 500. So the what number is? 500. 
Now we're going to do a little practice so that you kind of get some practice with this. So 60 is 5 sixths of what number? 60 equals 5 sixths times what number? Okay, so we have 60 equal 5 sixths times what number? Remember there's just a teeny tiny little, little uh, sign in there that says that's multiplication. With multiplication, the opposite is division. And we, in this case, rather than going through all of the trouble to put the 5, 6 down here and then bring it up and flip it and all that, we just know that if we take 6 fifths times 5, 6, which is its reciprocal, we will get rid of this number and we're left with just what number equals 60 times 6 fifths. And I think we can cross reduce and you'll see it on here that we cross reduced and it looks like 5 goes into 60 12 times and then you would just take 6 times 12 and that would give you the number 72 so 60 is 5 6 of 72 and you can prove that by simply taking 5 6 times 72 and you would get 60. Now, a couple more little practice problems. Okay. 80 is 0 0.4 of what number? 80 equals 0 0.4 times what number? All right, so we've got to get rid of the 0 0.4. So we're going to divide by 0 0.4. And if we divide by 0 0.4 here, we have to divide by 0 0.4 on the right side and the left side both. Here's our work over here. 800 divided by, excuse me, it's 80 divided by 0 0.4, but then you have to move the decimal over and move the decimal over because we can't divide by a decimal. So then you end up with 4 into 800, which pretty easy to figure out, but it ends up to be 200. So 200 is your what number? So 80 is 0 0.4 of 200. And here's your challenge. There are two problems. You must show them set up and then show the work to solve them. Okay, these challenge problems, there's two of them. Uh, challenge A is 40 is 0 0.08 of, or eight hundredths, of what number? Problem B is 6 fifths of what number is 60? Okay, so you have a missing there, you have a missing here. Be sure you get it set up right. Come to me with the work and the solutions and we will award you the bonus. I hope you understood this and I hope you have a great day. Talk to you later.